soon as that water temperature drops down past sort of that 22 mark, and that's when things start to really, really get hot with the dewies. And yeah, I'd be looking for like sort of landmark indicators on the top side would be your points in the river, any bends that you have in the river or points in the harbour. You know, on the water, you're looking for parts where the, um, like, you know, where the currents are sort of eddying up. You're finding some floating debris. You might, you might find bits of, you know, the, the, the remainder of the low tide and you find all these little bits of floating debris. Sometimes in Sydney Harbour, you do find a few chip packets, unfortunately. <laughs> but the fish tend to be under there. And that's kind of what I look for top side. And then um, also, you know, your bird indicators like pelicans are a great indicator for me. So that's sort of what I'll be looking at top side. Yep. Now, subsurface indicators, I would say, would be your drop off. If you do have a boat with a sounder, you don't really have to have the best sounder in the world. You just need to be able to see what depths you have. So drop offs are really good. Sometimes you can tell between sand beds and cockle beds. But, you know, I look for cockle beds. They, they look a little bit different on the sounder. You can sort of pick them up. Cockle beds, uh, you're looking for, you know, anything like bait fish balling up on subsurface, usually bait fish closer to the bottom, a really, really good indicator. You might not see a jewfish around there, but um, I've caught fish without seeing any marks anywhere. I've just seen bait and I've fished around that area and, you know, I've, found, I've, I've actually caught fish. And they're that elusive. I don't even think they show up on the sounder sometimes, you know, they're just... <laughs> They like they like that. They're that, that type of fish, you know. I've I've been fishing with with mates and they say to me, Oh mate, there's no fish here. Let's get let's keep going, let's keep going. I haven't seen any marks and let's get out of this area and I was like, No, 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 like let's just fish here and you know, we've got all the right ingredients, just haven't seen the fish on the sounder yet. I'm not saying that they're not there. And, you know, we've given it a fifteen, twenty minutes, still haven't seen anything on the sounder, but you do your wide cast, you give all the areas around those bait fish a bit of a go and all of a sudden you're on a fish and you haven't seen it on the sounder. So yep. subsurface indicators would be your, definitely your drop-offs and your cockle beds for sure. Yeah, with bait. Cool, cool. Now when you talk about drop-offs, mate, I mean, are you talking about drop-offs from, you know, a metre down to three metres or a metre down to five metres? Are you talking about something oh, more subtle? Than what's yeah, water depth? yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. So a drop-off for me could be anything from a sloping drop. It doesn't exactly have to be a sharp drop-off. One, yep, yep. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a steep drop off. You could you could go from let's say, you know, your eight and a half, nine meters, and then it sort of slowly goes down to your fifteen, sixteen meters. Yep. I find they tend to like be on that top side of that drop off or that slope, so they'll be in that sort of ten meter mark, maybe eleven meter mark. That's where I tend to catch a lot of fish. But then you also get the steep drop offs as well, or you might have a rock formation on an edge. I fish a certain rock formation that is, you know, it goes from six meters to like 16 and then to 20 meters. So it's like a very sharp drop. Okay. And I hop it off that sandstone boulder and, and just wait for that hit as it's dropping. <laughs> and yep. um, there's a fish just, there's usually fish just sitting, like hugging the edge of that. It's a little bit more difficult to fish a drop like that. But if you know where it is and you know your topography under the water, if you can find something like that and, you know, get to know it without getting too many snags. I've donated a few lures to the fishing <laughs> gods around there, that's for sure. But yeah, yeah, you, that, those are the kinds of drop-offs. It doesn't have to be a steep drop-off. It, it is a good good way to find fish on the steep drop-off, but the slopes or like the gradual sort of drop-offs are really good as well. Just any move, like any sort of difference in height of um, the bottom is good for the jewfish, I find. Okay, okay. Now, there are species that quite often are associated with edges as well, aren't they? I mean, if you, you know, yeah. go further north along the east coast there, you know, the classic place to look for dewfish is where the edges of rock walls meet the sand on the bottom. You know, they often are, exactly. are, are where there's a change of substrate. Is that the same in Sydney Harbour? Correct. Yeah, that's usually the same. Okay. Just a bit more snaggy. It's a bit more snaggy. You lose a lot more lures. Yeah, there's a lot going on on, on our edges in the harbour and in the estuary there. Definitely. Okay. okay. So let's just, just to, to clarify in my own mind, the, the ingredients that we're looking for, Water temperatures, did you say 22 or, or thereabouts? Yeah, 22 and lower is, is great. Yep, a uh, little bit of flow, a bit of current, a bit of back eddy, some water movement, maybe a bit of debris in the water, and then yep. those substrate depth changes and, and substrate changes, that's where they're going to be. And anywhere that has those ingredients plus a bit of bait around, whether you see a dew yep. or not on the sounder, that's where you should put a few casts in. Exactly, and the tide's a big thing. For me, it's the, the last two hours of the low tide would be my prime time. Okay, okay. So you're fishing the last of the run out. What about the slack water? Do they bite through the slack water or is it time yeah, to and, 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 and No, that's, that's the time where you really, really focus because that could be your last chance until that tide turns again. Okay. 